in Poland. Frono's photo. Dot com. It's time for another Anorama Picks Rapid Fire Critique. But right before we do that, if you haven't signed up for the Frono's Photo email list, you can do so right here in this orange box. There's one on the screen. Go ahead. It says click me. It will take you over to the site. Put your name, email address in it. Hit send it. And I will not only send you a free guide to capturing motion in low light situations, but you're going to get a lot of good information over the first couple weeks after you sign up. So let's get in to the Rapid Fire Critique. So here we go. We've got best from you to rock off. Uh, I picked this specifically because it was a photo story revolving around music photos that I think I could give some help for. So I'm going to click on the first one. It is Matt Lewis. That is the person taking it. Let's see what we were shooting at. Where is all this information? Hello, information. Uh, maybe it doesn't want to give me information. What about if I go to the next one? There, it gives me information on the next one. So it doesn't give me information on the first one. So let's take a look at it right here. Um, so, gotta decide what to focus on in an image like this. You, you got this guy's back and his face, and he seems to be the focus. So either focus tightly on this guy here and have this guy out of focus, or go horizontal and fill this guy in more. It just, it, there's not much interest going on in the image, because these lights are kind of distracting where they're at, this lightning bolt. There's really not much of the action being captured. It's other than, other than just these guys on stage. Uh, so we'll keep moving forward. Okay, this is better. This is a much tighter composition. Now we're taking with an EOS 7D with a 70 to 202.8 or, or F4. could be either one because it says F4 here. I'm just looking at settings. Uh, F4, ISO 320, show EXIF data. Wow. I wish that it would just be like, show me the information I want to see really quick, like shutter speed. Because it doesn't show me shutter speed here. And let, oh, one five hundredth of a second. That's what I was looking for. So not bad. Um, 30, not bad at all. So what, is, what are my concerns here with this image? Well, we've got this flyaway thing up here. What the hell is that thing? First things and foremost, I like the exposure. I like the color. I like the processing. Try to move your body to block the light here. So what I'm saying is you move your body to the left, which then shifts his head over here to block this light, which then goes ahead and gives it a glowy McLowerson around his head, kind of similar to what I did with the Modest Yahoo photos that I took. You want to be careful with the hands here. You cut them off here. The elbow, not so much of a big deal, but just moving your body to block the light with the subject's head, you're going to see a major difference in your images, and they will just go boom, pow, chicka, wow, wow. So definitely look into doing that. Exposure and everything else is great right there. So I don't mind this as much because you've got one, two, three, four people across the stage. I mean, they all look like shoegazers. Shoegazers are people that watch their feet up on the stage. Something I would consider here is going black and white because it kind of lacks in the color color or if you could back up more to the left and get just this guy in with the rest out of focus it could give it more interest uh, but I don't mind it so much it's kind of awkward where it's cut but that's the nature of the framing that's going on here but I would maybe get the focus on this guy more so because these guys aren't as important because these are the two that are doing something okay we got a little bit of that's a reflection. See, you use the light to block the hair, or sorry, the, the face to block it. Again, she's chewing the microphone. Uh, not your fault. Uh, 200, 1 six fortieth of a second at 320. I, I don't mind that you're at 320 to speed it up. I know the 7D, though, is limited around there. So you could have dropped that to, say, 400 ISO and lost a little bit. Sorry. Dropped it to 1600 ISO, and then you're at 320th of a second, which is still going to be plenty good for her who's playing the guitar. So I don't mind this. It's just that she's talking. She's right into the mic. So if she was singing or there was a little separation between her face and the mic, it would be better. But the comp composition is spot on. The exposure is spot on, and the processing isn't bad. Uh, and black and white may make it come to life a little more, but again, these are personal preferences. And let me just reiterate that I am giving a critique based off of what I think, that doesn't mean it's right. It doesn't mean it's wrong. It doesn't mean that you need to listen to what I have to say. It's just another suggestion. It's another opinion. And that's exactly what critiques are. You get opinions from multiple people and then decide on your own whether you like it or not. Because I am not the determining factor on whether the image is good or not. That, that's not, I mean, I have my own opinion. And then, of course, everybody else has theirs. All right, that side note is over. Moving forward. See the separation here? And I like the fact that you're off to the side a little bit. The color sucks. Not your fault because it's the lighting that you're dealing with, but you did a great job dealing with this light here. I'm going to yawn. 
excuse me, but black and white of this is going to pop a hell of a lot more. So what I like that you did is you stepped to the side and you got this without the microphone in the mouth because if you move to the left a little bit more, then he's just like this. And it just looks like he's eating the microphone or going down on it. Those don't work too well. The drummer, you can never forget the drummer. He needs a new hat. That fez is not working. Um, drummers are one of the hardest things to shoot because they're usually further back and they usually don't have a lot of light on them. But, but for what you did, the composition is good too. I think that the color is lacking. And that's not your fault, like I said before. That's the color of the lights that are there. And I do think a higher contrasty black and white would pop here and take it from boring plain to boomified and wonderful. Now, you can use your style for your, uh, for your editing, black and white, but just try it. I, I, what I like here is you've got different planes of the symbols drawing you into the center of the frame. Maybe look for some interest, like the kid getting the sticks in the air or going, wah, yeah, or something like that. But try the black and white. I think you'll notice that the image will be much better. Very inquisitive look because I, I couldn't figure out what the hell was going on here. Um, you got these heads in the way. It's kind of distracting from the subject. This guy in the background, I have a cleaner view of him than I do of the, the lead singer. or Sorry, the, the, blah, the guitar player here. I could say go black and white or whatever, but there's just not a lot of light in his face. So this just may not be a keeper. It may be one that you pull out. But as a photo story, so far we're doing pretty well. All right, this isn't bad. It looks like the guy's going into a slide. He's playing the bass. He's stepping to bass, stepping to bass. You got the monitor in here, which is something you'll contend with most of the time. Black and white's going to make... And Sorry, let me, let me use proper punctuation when I speak. You're going to have to contend with the monitor most of the time, period. Black and white could be a better choice for this image. So try the black and white. I've said it a couple times. I just think it would work well. I don't mind. As part of a photo story, this is cool because it gets the guy singing. He's got his, he's, he needs to shave. He can barely grow the hair. But it's okay. Um, it's fine. I like the emotion that's captured. I still think black and white would do better. Um, just the feel that I get from the images, but as part of a photo story, it has context, just like this has context. And again, you'll see that black and white's going to be a much better on this option as well. Um, okay, so we got the wider shot, which helps tell the story. I don't mind this at all. I don't mind the color. I see that we are you in tune up here and monster energy over here. I'm extra yawny today. It must be the, must be the French toast I ate. Very gluteny. Um, so I don't mind this. Try black and white, but oh, oh, do you see the microphone thing when he's eating the microphone? It's it's not a big deal, as much of a big deal when you're shooting uh, a, a wider shot like this, but obviously tighter shots is where it's not going to work too well. Look, a guy playing bass is a lead singer, like Sting. Uh, try it in black and white, too. All right, simple solution here. You need to shift your body to the right and use his head to block this light, which is in, gonna, in turn going to help you block this light out because you're moving to the side but it's going to cause a nice halo effect around his head which is going to make the image pop more and black and white i know and that is the last image um matthew great job with these i really think that it's a solid set all together a solid set and um let me know what you come up with do you i'm gonna go back oh there were 12 photos oh no there were 12 they broke the rules um let me know if you do go black and white I would like to see the new set or some new edits to these and what you think of the corrections. Definitely with something like this photo over here, block the light. Block the light here. Work on it. But good photo story. I like seeing a little bit of the wide shots, the tight shots, the, uh, the shots like the keyboards. Really good job. So that is another Adorama Picks rapid fire critique. You can always submit yours over on the site. Just look for submit images. And there you have it. Jared Poland, Fronosphoto.com. See ya. So if you like this rapid fire critique, you can see other rapid fire critiques. Just go ahead, click up on the screen. It's going to take you over to that playlist. That's right. It's a playlist of rappy McFire income critiques. Also, please subscribe here on YouTube to get notified of the latest updates. Later.